these are the reinforced corners. They're very heavy. You can't rip them, unlike drywall corners. This is for the flex stone. This is a waterproofing, almost like a membrane, but it's a quarter. You put the mud in it. They give you adhesive in the kit. It's really good stuff. You go like this, and you're sealing the corner. We ran the level line around the top, trying to get a nice square corner. And then the top of our flex stone power wall is going to come in right here. And I got to cut down around this. Then we have a trim piece that matches color that's going to be right in the center or so of that. So I want to get this in. And then over on this little knee wall, we're going to do the same thing. This goes down below the shower unit. Now that's our corner. And we're going to do this side by taking the... Uh, stuff in my way now. I'll set this ladder out of the way. We're going to put our adhesive in there. We pre-cut our pieces, so we're going to goober this in there. We're going to mush out the excess. We already had drywall tape in there, but that's not necessarily waterproof. So they give you the kit, and in the kit, you get everything to seal this up. Dawson's gonna hand me that paper. I'll show you that. This stuff, it says, has words on it here somewhere. Somewhere. Mm. Tile tape. And it is super strong, you can't rip it. Not without force. And this goes down beyond it. Yeah. Mud that in, it's super sticky. Mud that right in the corner. If it's a little long, I could probably trim it, but it'll probably be fine. And then, get this in the mud. Mush it in there. I'm not sure how long this will take to dry. I gotta play around with it. But I'm gonna put a, another coat right over top of it. Kind of got a memory here. Bring it back again. So I'll put another bead in there so we can mush it. And I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute. So here's our flex stone. It matches the floor tile really well. It's got a protective coating. It's about a quarter inch thick. Pretty expensive stuff. They want you to do a center line and measure left and right in case you got variables and you cut it to that. I cut it with my circular saw. Did a pretty nice job. And then I used an eight foot straight edge. And then uh, what they gave you adhesive with it. So we're gonna put dollops of adhesive every four inches it says. So it's a lot of adhesive. We're gonna go in, put on our marks, glue it on. Right, Dawson? Right. What is it, 100 in this garage? Yep. Kind of warm, we're sweating. We're gonna go back in the AC here. What we did is we measured, we had a little bubble in the middle, so we had to adjust a little. They want a dollop put every four to six inches. So it's gonna take a little bit, probably two tubes, to seal this up. So this is wall two, and we got a little adhesive on the front, but it's got a sticky film protector we got to peel off. When you run a level line, you think it's going to line up there, it's not going to line up there because your tub does this kind of thing and I notched around. So that was a basic line so we don't get above it. But we're going to put the trim on, which is adjustable by three inches. So I wanted it to line up in the center of that. So we are good. now. 
we'll just make sure that it's stuck to the wall and then we're going to move on to this one once this is dry we clean this out i'm going to run a base of sealant against probably clear probably clear against the base before we do the shower door and uh that's it we're just going to do this little wall and we'll see how it goes well it's still got the protective barrier on it but that's the uh look she's going for see the tile on the floor the wall and then uh i have to cut these back a little bit because i'm going to trim this out and it's going to get trimmed so it's got one two three four let's see one two three four i think it gives you five pieces so i'm going to try to trim this out and miter the edges so it looks like uh mold, you know pitcher molding whatever and uh, they get glued on also. We're gonna take this protective barrier off now. So I can clean this up pretty good. Hopefully it'll come off in one piece. And then we gotta run a caulk down the center or the corner. And then do that molding because I can't put the molding over this. So I'll do all three walls like that. We put the uh, trim around, getting the miters right, putting tape on to the adhesive sets. And I want to get this uh, shower head on in case anybody gets checking things out over the weekend and just happen to turn the water on. I kind of want them to be able to control where it goes. Because we're on city water pressure here and it comes out pretty good. Nice shower. Get like 80 pounds water pressure here. So the shower head's a lot bigger. I'm just throwing this on just because we can. And they can like let it steer in the bucket if they monkey with it. We're going to throw the handle on so that they can shut the water off if they bump it. Just in case. You never know if somebody touches something over the weekend. And uh, we got to do another one over here. And another one here. And that's probably all we're going to get to tonight. And it's getting pretty late right now. I want to get this pretty snug up here. Might as well put this on to get it out of the box. It should swivel separate. Yep. And I can tighten this up. And then this is a magnet. So I get that pretty plumb like that. And it's going to look cherry, right? No, pretty plumb. It's a magnet. And then we got a bypass, I think, up here also. You can do top or bottom. I hope she can reach it, but we have to be up here for average heights or tall people. And then uh, instead of just throwing a knob on, I'll throw the escutcheon plate on if everything fits good. All right, we got the uh, right side, the miter, the inside, the outside, and the vertical. We're going to do some kind of, you know, glass here, plexi, something for light. She wants light to come out in the hallway. I still have to do this outside corner, but I can't do it till I do the top. Can't do the top till we do the door. So we got to install the shower door next. So this might be the end of this video. I'm just going to pull out my mess here, pull the tape off, and let this set for the weekend. I put my faucet assembly together, scunch and plate everything on. Looking good.